Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. In today's tutorial, we are going to be making a big bow that's perfect for a Christmas tree topper, a mailbox to add on your lantern, on a swag, lots of options here. So this one's going to be extra large. For this bow, you are going to need four colors of ribbon with wire and you're going to cut your ribbon into strips. Now you'll want to cut three of each color and you'll want to cut them in strips of 40 to 46 inches because I don't like my tails to all be the same length so that's why I say cut them in strips 40 to 46 inches and then you're going to form a loop and my loop measures nine inches. So just make your loop, measure it, and keep it pinched in your hand. And after you make a few of these loops, you can kind of tell that you're about nine inches and you don't have to get your ruler out and check every time. So just kind of compare the loop that you did previously with the one you're working on and kind of see if they're about the same size. And then keep it pinched tightly in your left hand. Then grab your next piece of ribbon, same steps. Make a nine inch loop and then go to the next strip of ribbon. Now you do not have to do the same color ribbon each time. You can mix up the ribbons, like I could have grabbed one out of each stack, and actually I think I like it better when I do that, so that's just a thought. So if I were to take where my hand is pinched around the ribbon and I straightened out that piece of ribbon, it should measure 18 inches. So those of you like that like to hold on to it and measure and count out your 18, then fold back to get your nine. So about 18 inches is what my ribbon would measure if I was to straighten out the loop. Some people like to call these bows loopy bows or funky bows. I've just always called them tree topper bows because I usually make a large bow and put in the top of my Christmas tree each year. So I can't believe we're in October now and it's time to start thinking about our colors for our Christmas decorations. If you do not want to make your bow hardly as big, you don't have to, but I just made mine nine inch loops. And like I said, these look so good. A lot of people like to put them on their mailboxes and I think that's really pretty. So there's all kinds of ways to use your large bow. And these bows are really simple to make. It's just quite a bit of ribbon to hold in your hand. So just make sure you hold it tightly and don't let go. You're going to want to have some either floral stem wire or some bow string, pipe cleaner, zip tie, something like that to wrap around your bow when you get finished. So I usually use floral stem wire. I know a lot of people like to use zip ties, but what I like to do is if you're going to say you're going to put it on your mailbox, then you're going to need to take some string like fishing line and maybe thread through where your floral stem wire is twisted around the ribbon, thread your, your fishing string, fishing line under the, wi the wire, and then you'll extend it so that you can make it long enough to tie the bow around your mailbox. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now I have my 12 loops in my hand and I am just taking the 20 gauge floral stem wire and wrapping it as tight as I can around my bow. So twist it very tight and leave your wires long because I usually use my wires to twist it around the top of my Christmas tree. So now you're just going to have fun fluffing your loops. Make sure you fluff and separate your loops. Now it's easier when you do not do like all the same color ribbon at the same time like I did, it's easier to separate it and get more variety if you kind of like do one of each color and mix it up because I kind of had to work to get the ribbon placed where I wanted them. So that's like I said, it's just up to you. But if you're using four colors like I did, you might want to grab one out of each stack as you make your loops. And you can make these for any holiday, any season. So I'm just happened to be started, I've started working on Christmas decorations. So I think I'm going to make one more just like this. And you do not have to use four colors of ribbon. You can use one color, you can use two colors, but you'll need 12 strips of ribbon to make a bow this size. So it's just up to you. And this ribbon here does have wire. It's a 2.5 inch width and the ribbon came from Sam's Club. So it makes a big bow. 
So thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all of you that watch and comment and share my videos. Y'all are always so sweet. So I really do appreciate y'all. And if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you make one of these bows, let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day.